On the munch queen. Today I'm talking about my favorites lately, I would say, because I haven't made one of these videos for so long right now, and it's just because I've been so busy that I didn't even have the time to think of something that was actually my favorite. And if you hear a hissing noise in the back, it's my computer that's going insane in the back trying to export another video. Yay me. I had a chance to watch one new film and rewatch a film that I already watched a long time ago, but that I still really, really loved. And I also had the chance to read a random book that was sitting on my shelf. Literally, I think it's been sitting there for four years and I never read it and I picked it out because I wanted to read something on the train while going to the meetup in Florence the other day and I read it in five hours and I fell in love with it. But let's start from the beginning. Don't kill me, but I had never seen the film Her before. I always heard of it, I always wanted to watch it, it's always been on my list but as always and as everything I procrastinate on doing, I never properly watched it. And the other day I was tired of leaving it there on my list and I decided to watch it. And holy crap that film is beautiful. That film is just visually absolutely stunning. Shots are so well thought, there are some that are absolutely gorgeous the lighting, the colour, the set design, everything in terms of visual is amazing on that film. Acting is brilliant as well. Let's talk about like, just even Scarlett Johansson, which is genuinely just a voice in the film, but it's the most human voice I've ever heard on a film. Basically, long story short, in the future you can have a computer that's called OS1, it can have a voice of a male or a female, and it's a form of artificial intelligence that can help you out during the day in terms of checking your emails, organizing stuff, giving you advice, but also keeping you company and being human. So that artificial intelligence feels like a person. And it's a story of the main character that after divorcing or anyway separating from his wife that he had been together with uh, for his whole life basically, finds comfort in this voice that literally behaves like someone on the phone. She has feelings, she's, she's got thoughts, she's got struggles, emotions, she's literally like a person. The very interesting thing about this film, it's the way it portrays solitude and loneliness and sadness. How well it uses techniques like the Kulishov effect, reaction shots, and the way it decided to portray loneliness like, for example, having the main character walking in the complete opposite direction to everyone else, having the character wearing really bright colors compared to everyone else. And when he feels like he's fitting in, he's instead wearing colors that are bland and neutral. The way that he escapes from responsibilities and he escapes from reality and how deeply saddening the story is, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Because you see a love story portrayed with someone that is never on screen and is not even human. And how this character relies on something that's just a shadow of what he would actually want, which was the relationship with his wife. Just beautiful. Sick of recommendation in terms of film, it's a film I had the chance of re-watching very recently and it's just absolutely always great. It's um, The Social Network. I don't think I suggested it yet on this channel, but The Social Network is one of those films that I think you should definitely watch. Brilliantly written, like, dialogue is insane and acting is absolutely brilliant, editing is just perfect and it's, as you all know, the story of the creation of Facebook, but it's way more than that, it's a story of a friendship, it's a story of betrayal, it's a story of what you are willing to do to reach your goals even though you might hurt someone or you might lose all your friends. As I think it's one of the taglines for this film is like, you don't get to one million friends without making some enemies. Social Network is just such a brilliant film. So engaging, so interesting. It makes you mad, it makes you feel, it makes you furious, it makes you disgusted, it makes you happy, it makes you, mainly just makes you really mad about their friendship going to hell. Different point of views and how the story goes back and forth and what's the result of the story itself of the fact that eventually that's what the creation of Facebook brought to. But it's just brilliant and I know that I'm not talking about it that much but even if you think of dialogue, I know all of this stuff because there's a brilliant 
brilliant, brilliant channel called Channel Cruise World, if I'm not mistaken, that explains loads of stuff about film and I just love watching it and he talks about the dialogue in this film and it, I think it's just simply brilliant. He introduces characters and stories and everything so quickly and so well. Well, in terms of book, a book that I wanted to suggest for this uh, month, it's a book that's unfortunately in Italian for those of you who are English, but it's called uh, My Winter in Zeroland or Il Mio Inverno a Zerolandia. It's uh, such a delicate, raw and realistic book. It's been sitting on my shelf forever. I think it was a present for my sister from like four years ago. And it's basically the story of this 17 years old girl who lost her mom due to cancer and decides to shut everyone out. Sitting on the last row in the class next to a guy that everyone calls Zero because he doesn't even exist. He's there, he doesn't care about school. He's really silent, really rude. Doesn't care about anything really because everyone hates him. Everyone considers him a loser and dangerous and stupid and if she does that It's a way for her to show rebellion. I think the best thing about the book is how they describe loss Because I have never read a book that expressed the loss of a person that well and I felt it that much There are loads of themes in the book like depression, but it's not like the usual young adult books and it's not the usual love story, the characters are actually real, like you feel like that kind of arguments and misunderstanding and reactions are something that might happen even outside of a young adult teen book. The main character makes mistakes and reacts like a normal person and is not even that whiny or awful like most of female characters are, really. The ending is just so sweet but also leaves you with such an empty void in the middle of your chest and I was feeling so angry, so vain, so frustrated, so resignated, so... It's as if I had been brought back to reality and I was like, you can't change how much reality suck or how much reality is unpredictable or how much people are unpredictable. It's not a fairy tale. Things don't go as you want, things go as other people want because other people have got a personal will and they are entitled to do whatever they want with it. And it's been brilliant and I was just, I remember I couldn't even talk at the end of the book. I was on the train and I, I couldn't formulate words, I was so stuck, so I was so caught into this universe of zero land and just those 250 pages that I was like, lost. For a while and this is what I look for in book and this is why and this is how I always remind myself that I love reading and I just need to find the right books again and read again because it's just ridiculous that I don't have time to do it it's one of the things I love the most in the world books are one of my favorite things and I'm not gonna let them go I'm not gonna let it go I'm gonna read more I really want to read more and this book was amazing and I really suggest it and recommend it to you these were my suggestions for today and I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've seen the films or if you've read the book and or if you read the book and let me know your opinions. I'm always like, you know that I want to know what you think. I don't know if all of you know, but I've got a Twitter account, um, an Instagram account and a Facebook page. So if you want to, you can always find them in the description down here. And also there's a merchandising shop if you want to buy my t-shirt. I just realized I never said that. <laughs> but yeah, that was it for today. I'll see you in the next video and booyah! Hello! Guess who made a film? Hi, I'm sorry, um, I haven't been active in the past week on any of my social media really because I have been in the Alps shooting my film. It's done now.